What up? What is going on, Liberty Lovers? Oh my gosh, it is late for me. It is 2.04. Just leaving the friendly neighborhood. It has been a while since I've been in there. But um, <clears throat> next door to me, they're redoing a rent rental property. So the floor guy asked me if I wanted to bang out his quarter round for him and make a little bit of extra money. And I said, sure. That was about at six o'clock tonight. And uh, by the time I got started, after I talked to that guy, the guy across the street from me got his car stuck in the mud because it's been raining and actually rained while I was uh, doing my last shop, I suppose. And uh, so a friend of his came, came and asked me first. I went and talked to the floor guy. Then I, I jumped in the truck, grabbed my toe straps, brought it across the street. And when I went around the corner of his house in my truck, I realized another truck had went there in the meantime and got stuck and then i got stuck trying to pull that truck out so another truck had to come and ended up getting all of us out uh but man i tell you what that was something else i really don't have nowhere to put my phone so uh i'm multitasking sorry i'm not looking at the camera but um so anyways let's talk about it um just with the extra money i made i just went to a wally world as we call it around these parts and i got like a double pack of antiseptic mouthwash q-tips a big box of trash bags a couple more small bottles of bleach everything i'm doing i'm looking at the unit price like price per ounce price per you know whatever the item is and that's how I shopped. I pretty much stayed away from all name brand. I did get a couple things, a degree, uh, deodorant, uh, got like the cheap suave shampoo and conditioner. Um, I got the 50 pound bag of dog food, 30 pound bag of cat food. The one thing I did notice I forgot was a pack of flour, um, you know, because if we do have to like quarantine right now in California as of February 20, I don't even know what it is, 2nd, 4th, last week of the February. Um, it just made a week, a week and a day or two in Italy, and they are completely, completely out. On Monday, uh, Gold Man Saxophone, uh, which is like a head, uh, you know, bank said that to expect disruption so basically they let them know companies like foxcom and things uh have uh shut down which i had knew for over a month now i've been following this close and um so that's why the reaction in the stock market dropped a thousand points uh today on tuesday san francisco uh issued a state of an emergency they said there's not a problem that whatever but they're just calling it ahead of time for prevention, which let's hope that that's the case. However, last couple days ago, they had released the 14-day people and, that were in quarantine. And a day or two later, which I had been following this close, I had already knew this, but a day or two later, they came out and said, well, now they realize it's a 24 to 28 hour, I mean, day before you see any symptoms. And the whole time you're contagious. So uh, I know several, uh, the initials now of first letter, I, I, I don't want to get anything like uh, triggered by the algos, but friendly, everyone, money, uh, apples. Um, they have opened up several centers uh, across America. Um, so, you know, if it's nothing, don't worry you know people that have been ordering items on amazon thankfully not mine but uh order like n95 masks and things their orders are getting refunded and they're getting canceled today uh, the head of dhs was drilled by senators and they're saying they don't really know how bad to expect it and that if 
they say that the government has this, you know, enough supplies. Their agencies may have enough supplies, you know, but it was the middle of last year that uh, they also came out and said each citizen should be able to depend on themselves for six months to a year. They were talking about, you know, EMP at the time, maybe um, some type of solar flare or another, you know, so, but they, they've been slowly warning for, you know, if you learn about the uh, the scenario or drill that just uh, got played last November uh, 201, then uh, you know that it was like, you know, very high up. Bloomberg was one of them. Gates, uh, Winfrey, Oprah, uh, uh, Soros, uh, uh, Buffett, you know, they were all went to this 201 exercise. And I mean, they named it exactly to the T what we happening. I ran a head guy over there, leader yesterday, publicly says there's nothing to be worried about. And then today he had to publicly say that he's actually infected. And reports are definitely coming out that uh, it is almost tailored to their genetics. Uh, it is a little different, like a modified strand, and it seems to be attacking those uh, area of people even worse than it did uh, where it originated. But it is, you know, a little different. Uh, Spain, Italy, Russia. I mean, I'm definitely not doing this in fear. I'm definitely not. Honestly, I'm not even really stressed about it. You know, uh, since the first week of January, I've been on top of it. And I've been, uh, you know, trying to tell people. But I've definitely been making sure that, you know, I can do the best I can to provide for my family in this situation. I'm just saying this. To make, I'm just making this video not to scare anyone, but when the scare, when the people in your city really wake up to everybody's busy, you know, work, take care of children, you know, and then they got their certain shows. And stuff. I don't watch nothing cable, you know, the most I do is watch stuff on YouTube, which are credible sources, you know. Big shout out to uh, Citizen Man, you know, shout out to Marfu. Everybody needs to go to Marfugal News, M-A-R-F-O-O-G-L-E, news.com. Click on the thumbnail. You'll see every linked article. I mean, there's a whole, you know, it's like a family, you know, and they all send in leaks. It's a, it's a badass show. You click the thumbnail, you'll get the show. And then you'll get every linked article. And then on top of all that, you'll get actual like tweets and videos and images from these areas that the media is not showing, right? Y'all, just heed my war warning. If you think nothing's going to happen, you know, I'm hoping the same. You know, I think America's badass. I love our country. I think the president has, uh, you know, right. People don't realize, but he talked about this about the first week it came out and people aren't even giving him credit but he did sh sh shut down certain flights and things but you know we might stop taking the supply chain is definitely going to be disrupted you know food shelves walmart said in three weeks i mean three months there might be nothing they could distribute i mean just heed the warning y'all don't get scared don't get freaked out make sure you got plenty of lead you know to write notes with you know Make sure you got plenty of lead and uh, cheaper than dirt.com. You know, there's a lot of places. Um, anyways, I'm going to end up rambling, but dog food, food for the animals, you know, worst case scenario, try to stay in your house for a month. You know, two months would probably be ideal. Uh, hand sanitizer, uh, Lysol, bleach, um, Dollar Tree, man. Uh, they got. As long as it kills antibiotics, I mean, uh, bacteria and viruses, you know, grab that stuff. But uh, rice, sugar, flour, you got to make bread, you know, uh, deodorant, toothpaste, uh, shampoo, uh, laundry detergent. You know, just grab one or two extra. And then this is survival needs. So we're not getting the normal brand. We're not getting the expensive stuff. We're getting the bare minimum, the store brand, the cheaper than store brand. This is not, this is not to thrive on in luxury this is not your everyday items get the cheap shit the shit that tastes nasty you know we're, we're looking in for uh quantity not uh quality right but uh 
I don't know. I'm not worried. You know, I'm blessed that uh, I was able to open up my eyes and see this. I hope nothing happens. And if nothing happens, I'm going to be saving a lot of money in the future. I mean, I'm not going to have to buy stuff. You know what I mean? And like I say, with natural storms, hurricanes, winters, getting snowed in. I mean, anything can happen. And when you're buying stuff, it usually lasts for a good year or two. So, you know, uh, I got a uh, store brand Tylenol, uh, 500 of them for $7, you know vacuum seal it you know but anyways i'm rambling this is not to scare anybody this is not to whatever this is just when the masses around you here a lot of people don't even know this a lot of people don't even know this kind of stuff's going on so oblivious to the news so oblivious to daily facts it's being censored you know it's being shadow banned uh people are getting taken off uh you know the censorship is real on this topic and um you know before people really find out what's going on, please at least try to get you some stuff. You know, any little bitty things you could do for a little extra cash. Uh, uh, turn in your change if you got change. You know, stuff maybe you could sell on uh, Let Go or Facebook. Things that you ain't really used in a while. Or maybe you got a better upgraded whatever and you got the old one in the closet. Sell all that shit. And go get a few things for you and your family. Gas. You know, whatever. Whatever you can. Do what you can, man. Uh... I got family watching this show, so I love everybody. I love y'all. You know, I'm not trying to freak anybody out. I just want to give you confidence that you can, you can, uh, you can believe in yourself and you can depend on yourself. And even though you think it's, you know, you can't do anything or you ain't got that much, anything, shit, you know, just don't let it, just don't let it be too late, because like it happened over there, in 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 uh Italy. Right now, I think it's Italy. They're shutting neighborhoods down. They're sh they're sealing in doors, just like videos out of Wuhan. You have to go to Marfugal and look at these videos out of China, y'all. Once you see those videos, then you might understand why I'm even trying. But uh, America's kick ass. We're the best in the world, so we probably don't have anything to worry about. But uh, it's better be safe than sorry. Love y'all. Don't freak out. Everything's going to be good. Just do what you can. Peace.